Hello everyone, in this video we are going to have an overview on the parameters which are mentioned on a nameplate of power transformer. And to know more about these parameters, you need to watch the video. So let's get started with the first parameter. So here you can see it is mentioned as connection symbol. It is also called as vector group. So let's understand what is vector group. It is a representation of type of primary and secondary winding and phase difference between them. So it simply shows you the type of your primary and secondary winding and the phase difference between these two windings. So on our nameplate, it is mentioned as DYN11. So let's find out letter by letter what these indicates. So the first letter which is mentioned in capital indicates the type of high voltage winding. The second letter indicates the type of LV winding. The third letter indicates the LV winding has neutral point as well. And the numbers indicates phase shift between them. So D indicates delta connected primary winding, Y indicates star connected secondary winding with new point and L11 indicates the phase shift. So L11 is equivalent to 30 degree. But the question comes how L11 is equivalent to 30 degrees. So let's find that out. So it is accepted universally that these phase shift will be as per the watch phase. So the shorter arm is indicating the HV winding which is on 12 and the longer arm or the minute arm is indicating the LV winding which is rotating. So one rotation of this minute arm is of 360 degree. So technically one hour is of 30 degree. So if you divide 360 by 12 hours you will get 30 degrees. So when this minute arm is in the position shown, it has completed 30 degrees. So when this arm will move towards 2, so it has completed 60 degree. So when this arm again move towards 3, so it has completed 90 degree. So similarly, when this arm will complete the one complete cycle, so it has completed 360 degrees. And on our nameplate, the phase shift is mentioned as 11. So when the minute arm is on 11, it has completed 330 degrees. So we can say that LV winding leads the HV winding by 30 degrees or high voltage winding lags the low voltage winding by 330 degrees. So that is why 11 represents 30 degree. So this DYN11 indicates transformer has delta connected primary a star connected secondary winding with neutral and with phase shift of 30 degrees between them. So this vector groups is important while connecting two transformers in parallel. If you connect two transformers with different vector groups in parallel, it may result into a short circuit or there will be some disturbances in the system. Moving on, so here you can see there are some diagrams given. So this diagram shows the connections of HV and LV winding, HV winding represented by one U, one V and one W. Similarly, LV winding represented by two U, two V, two W with neutral point on it. So these are again some of the connection diagrams given on the nameplate. On this diagram here, you can see the HV winding is shown uh, on taps provided on H. These taps can be used in case if your voltage is fluctuating, so you can adjust the taps and accordingly you will get the constant voltage as output. So moving on here you can see the insulation levels. So this is power frequency voltage and impulse withstand voltage. So the first value that is 70 kV and 3 kV indicates the power frequency voltage for high voltage winding and low voltage winding respectively. So similarly, the 170 kV peak indicates the lightning impulse voltage for high voltage winding. For LV winding, it is not applicable. 
This insulation level also consists of switching impulse voltage which is generally applicable above 245 kV only. So this is a nameplate of 33 kV and hence it is not applicable for this particular transformer. So let's understand why these insulation levels are important. So power frequency voltages can be generated due to phase to earth faults, load rejection, ferroresonance and Ferranti effects. So your transformer should withstand this voltage so that the insulation of the transformer remains healthy even in this kind of situation. And the lightning impulse can be generated due to lightning strokes and as you have seen it is mentioned in peak because it remains in the system for a very short time. So this was about the insulation levels. So moving on here you can see type of cooling. So here it is mentioned O N A N. So this layer indicates oil natural air natural O N A N. So there are some other techniques as well which includes oil natural air forced O N A F, oil forced air forced O F A F and oil forced water forced O F W F. So these are the some of the techniques used to cool the transformer. Moving on here you can see the details of taps which are provided on the high voltage winding are given. So in case if your high voltage is fluctuating then accordingly you can adjust the taps and get the constant output at secondary that is 433 volts. So this detail shows the connections where you have to connect your tapping to get the constant voltage. So this also gives you uh, the amperes based on the connection at high voltage. So moving on here you can see the KVA rating of the transformer. So this transformer is 1250 KVA. By the way if you would like to know why transformers are rated in KVA only you can watch my video on that. You'll get link for that video down in the description. Moving on next thing is voltage and amperes. So here you can see high voltage is 33 KV, low voltage is 433, high voltage ampere is 22 amps and the low voltage is 1667 ampere. So next is frequency. So frequency is 50 hertz phases that is it shows the HV and LV phases so both the windings are three phase windings. Moving on the percentage impedance. So this is also one of the important parameter of the transformer and this will help you to find out the short circuit rating of this transformer. So for different taps the percentage impedance will be different. So this thing will give you the exact percent of the impedance on different taps. So next here you can see there are different weights mentioned. So untanking mass, mass of oil, total mass of transformer and the transportation mass everything mentioned in kilograms. So next thing is guaranteed maximum temperature rise in oil or windings over an ambient of 50 degrees. So this indicates in case if the ambient temperature goes above 50 degrees then what will be the temperature rise in oil and winding. So it is mentioned as 50 or 55 degrees Celsius. So it shows that the temperature rise will remain within 50 or 55 degrees Celsius even if the ambient temperature goes above 50 degrees. So this is all about the parameters which are mentioned on a nameplate of a power transformer. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like the video you can subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. If you would like to watch more videos on nameplate details of substation equipment you can watch the complete playlist of this series. You'll get link for that series down in the description. That's all for this video guys. I'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching, keep learning.